and new developments in a child custody controversy we first reported this month. A Fulton County judge ordered a 10-year-old girl to live with her father, whom she accused of sexual abuse. Only investigative reporter Jeff Cherico is asking tough questions about who recommended the custody switch and how much he's making. He joins us now with an update. Jeff. Yeah, Bernard, we wanted to know why the court-appointed guardian ad litem would charge more than $133,000 for his work on the case. We've learned after we aired our first report two weeks ago, he's now taking another look at his bills. The guardian ad litem is James Holmes, seen here. He's appointed by the court to determine the best interest of the child. Now, earlier this month, protesters rallied against the judge and Holmes. Holmes recommended the father get primary custody, even though he was twice arrested for abusing his daughter. Critics say the $133,000 bill is just plain outrageous and frankly, they say suspicious, and here's why. The millionaire father is paying 80% of that bill. Now, we're going to show you what happened when we tried to question Holmes at his mechanics, but first, here's an interview with uh, the mother whose identity we're hiding to protect her daughter. I believe that um, custody evaluators and guardians and potentially the judge in this case has been influenced um, they have really ignored or suppressed the evidence. My name is Jeff Cherico. I'm with CBS Atlanta News. Can you please help me understand how you could charge $133,000 for one case, sir? Now, Holmes would not turn around to answer my questions, but just yesterday, I obtained an email that Holmes sent, which reads, all billing statements are currently under review and revision for submission to court. Now, Deb Beecham with My Advocate Center issued this statement. It reads in part, it is very concerning that a guardian ad litem would even be considering altering his billing statements for the purpose of the trial. If the billing statements were accurate when submitted and when they were paid, why would there be a need to alter them in order to submit them to court? Deb previously has said, those charges were outrageous. Now, I asked Holmes to explain his change. He said in an email that he has no comment. You may remember in May, we exposed a shocking lack of oversight of guardians ad litem here in Georgia. To watch that story and others on this case, go to CBSAtlanta.com and click on the headline to this story. And of course, if you have information that you'd like to share about this topic, I'd like to hear from you. Friend me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter at CBSATLCherico, or you can contact me there the old-fashioned way through email. And we'll continue to follow this custody case, which could go to trial next month. I'm Jeff Cherico, CBS Atlanta News.